Back in the day, man, when I was still in high school, um, you know, I would sing in the school choir. Then that's when I actually started realizing that people were paying more attention to me, and I, I felt like I, I could really sing, and um, my talent could take me places. You know, we could sing songs like "Manyatela um, Madimoni," you know, something like that, and um, people were really enjoyed it. So. Um, that's when I actually started realizing that okay, I can sing, you know, and I was made the the school choir president um, when I was form two. So, you know, it was something that I really enjoyed doing, and um, I thought of giving it a try in the real world. Right? So, in terms of recording, uh, I really started recording professionally with uh, Victor and Liste. I'm really, really grateful uh, for him because. He's the one who discovered me as a person and he discovered my talent to showcase it out there. You know, I'd go for studio times without it even paying anything. He'll do songs for me and he'll help me write. So yeah, um, I really want to thank Victor and Destin for that kind of opportunity. And um, I've worked with various producers as well, like um, I've worked with Gabe's Morgan, I've worked with um, Lee K, I've worked with Victor Stewart, I've worked with Rodney, yeah. So um, I really want to thank those guys for helping me out with my music career. But above all, I would um, like to thank my mom. <laughs> because back then when I was still a young kid, um, she helped me with the vocals. I used to sing in church, she used to push for me to just sing on stage, lead the choir and all that. So um, I'm really grateful for my mom. That's it for my for my music career. How it really started. Still a young brand. I'm really growing it. How much I charge for a feature? Um, I charge two point five to two point five USD. But uh, you know, uh, my talent, man, it's so so special and so unique. So the reason why you would want to collaborate with me is because I'm good. So why not two point five? But I'm just joking, I won't disclose that, um, it's a topic for another day. But you know, if you really want to collaborate with me, we could um, link me up, hit me up on Instagram, hit me up on Facebook, Golden try to talk to me, try to get in touch, then you can work something out. If I vibe to your music and if I vibe to the, to the beats that you have, and if we're good, then we're good. I'll drop a verse, I'll drop a chorus, and you'll work if you want. Yeah, so, we're all good. I see people go through a lot and uh, and I have experienced something, you know, I'm new to that, but I'm not going to disclose that. Um, mainly my, my, my own sister's relationship has shown me a lot of things and um, even the movies I watch. Yeah, in, so I feel like my, my strength and my voice could actually speak to people in, in, in that way. You know, when I talk about love and uh, relationship goals and stuff like that. So yeah, it's, it's mainly because of this experience that I've had and the movies I watch, the novels I read, you know. Yeah. <sighs> Man, that's a tricky question. You know, I feel like they're both good in their own ways, but Winky D, Winky D is really good and he's the people's choice and all that. And his, his lyrics are really good, they really, really really relate to the to the young people but I would go for Jab Razor because I feel like he works hard and I'm more inspired by his works and I, I feel like he puts in the extra effort in the things that he does no matter what people say and he keeps his originality so yeah I think I'll go for Jab Razor. Man um, I'll go for Sumer. 
I would go for Sumura. Main reasons being that um, I feel like people in the old age were more creative with their lyrics, so we could actually steal something from them. Um, one or two things, and could spice it up in our music. So I'll go for Sumura. You know, I'll, I'll go for Tati, Tatienda, Tati Music. Go check her out. She's really, really dope. I, I feel like she is uh, bringing in the new sound. I feel like she really knows what she's doing, and I really enjoy her vibe and her voice. It's amazing, man. Man. <laughs> you know, um, I feel like everyone's beautiful in their own way, and, um, you know, I like them thick, I like them slim, I like them, I like them dark, you know, um, at the same time, I like them light skin, <laughs> you know, I'm, no, I'm not going to tell you, they're going to find out themselves, you know, I'm good looking, so, you know, any girl, you know, <laughs> yeah, man. Um, I used to be a Facebook person, but uh, I later then discovered that uh, I could engage more with uh, the young people on Instagram, so I feel like Instagram has helped me a lot to push my music, so I'll go for Instagram. Um, I'll, I'll go for Chicken In, because uh, I kind of like that spicy chicken, but no, I love the way Chicken Slice makes its uh, chicken salad. I really, really, really like that. So I'll go for chicken skins. Yeah, man. <laughs> many people have told me that, but many people have told me to, to you know, to be involved in a scandal that would really get my name out there. But I feel like I don't, I don't think that's the right way to go. Um, I feel like there's a time for everything, and when your time is right, you know, people discover you for your talent. Because at the end of the day, if people discover you because of scandals, they'll really have um, their thinking about you and they'll judge you for what you did in the scandal when you actually did it for a public scandal. So I don't feel like it's the right way to go. So I'd rather go for, for music. So far in this music industry, especially here in Zim, it's mostly about the, the financial problems. I've really faced financial problems, especially when doing videos, um, even recording, paying producers and stuff like that. It really needs a lot of money and many people don't understand that. So, um, but I was lucky enough to be helped by my mom in doing my side hustles as well, so that I could really raise some money to um, cater for my music. So, um, it's basically the financial problems especially on logistics when doing videos, especially when you don't have a manager, when you have to do everything yourself and all of that. It's really a hustle. It's a struggle. I wish people could understand artists from that angle. When they see videos that don't look good and they start, you know, roasting the, the artist and all that. It's really a hustle. It's really, really, really a struggle. So I think it's financial, really. If you're young, Talk to your mom, talk to your dad. <laughs> because I feel like you, you don't really go anywhere because people out there are really, really some reptiles and people are really snakes out there. So I think the two people you would really trust in helping you is your mom, your dad, or your guardian, whatever. And um, the other advice I'll give is the weather might be hot out there, but just keep going. You know, you've heard me so many times, but I feel like it's working for me because I face so many struggles, but now I'm here. So it's just a matter of consistency. You know, I'll go for hip hop. I'll go for hip hop mainly because I feel like there's more art in hip hop. They, they diversify the sounds, they always new sounds every year and all that. So it's either it's trap, it's hardcore, and they're distorted 808s and everything, you know. So I'll go for hip hop because I feel like as an artist, you should be able to diversify and do many sounds as possible to be able to cater for many people. So yeah, I'll go for hip hop. Golden fingers on the.
I know all of y'all been talking, you heard rumors about me dropping an album. Yeah, man. It's fine to be talking about me, it's all good. Uh, I'm dropping an album on the 22nd of August, uh, titled Explore. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, it's true, I'm dropping an album. I'll need you to look out uh, for the track titled Falling. Falling. <laughs> Falling, uh, the track is. The track is. Powerful. <laughs> it's powerful, it's my favorite track. Um, yeah, man, and. Uh, one of the features there, you, you, I'll, I'll drop an, I'll drop a list um, before the album drops of the features in me and uh, everyone who featured, everyone who helped me out with the project and all that. But y'all need to look out for Miles, man. Miles, <laughs> Miles, my guy, super dope, super vocals and everything. He helped me out. Golden yeah, fingers so, look out for the album, man. 2020, 22nd August. <laughs>